Since the dawn of astronomy with optical instruments, trying to find the perfect telescope for every situation has become a true obsession for professional and amateur astronomers. Until that telescope doesn't appear, which one of us is finding new ways to observe or photograph the night sky? Hello, welcome to the Astronomina's channel. I am Fabio. In our last video, I presented the ASCAR FMA 135, the world's smallest apochromatic refractor telescope so far, which impressed a lot for its constructive and optical quality. Today, I will put together a new setup to complement and make the channel's process of acquiring images easier. For this, I use the most recent release from ASCAR for its line of modular equipment, the ASCAR FMA 180 Pro. The ASCAR FMA 180 Pro is an apochromatic refractor with a 40mm aperture. 180 mm focal length and f4.5 focal ratio. Its lens has three elements, two of which are low dispersion ED optical glass. In addition, there are three more elements in the field flattener and focal reducer, which makes it a sextuplet aimed for astrophotography. Its objective has three elements, two of which are low dispersion ED optical glass. In addition, there are three more elements in the field flattener and focal reducer, which makes it a sextuplet aim for astrophotography. The Pro version is an evolution of the first generation FMA 180, which came with a ring pattern mount and was more suited for use with DSLR cameras or as a guide scope. This first version has been remodeled for astrophotography and comes with a 150mm Vixen dovetail rail, Vixen shoes for fixing a guide scope and other accessories, in addition to having a field rotator, which makes it excellent for use with dedicated astronomical cameras as well. The focal system and the field rotator are fully graduated, have a lock and the total weight of the set is only 800 grams, a red with the dovetail vixen installed. I will also use the ZWO 533 MC Pro as the main camera and the ASI 120mm Mini mounted on the Isvibone SV165 guide scope. I will also use the ZWO M42 filter drawer for use the standard 2 inch filters, a triple accessory holder and everything will be controlled by the ASI Air Mini. The only change I'll make to the FMA 180 Pro is changing the dovetail vixen to an Arca Swiss 200mm rail, which is lighter and compatible with all the rest of my equipment.
I chose the Ascar FMA 180 Pro because of its excellent apparent field of view. Its 180mm focal length is one of the most used in astrophotography for its versatility, excellent image scale and wide range of possible targets. Only to give you an idea, its field of view using a 1 inch sensor is perfect for framing the following targets with a slight slack. Witch Head, Blue Horse Head, Eastern Veil, Orion, Itacarinae Nebulae, and even the small Magellanic Cloud without the need to create a mosaic. In addition to improving the setup image scale to 4.31 arc seconds per pixel, when compared to the setup using the Ascar FMA 135, the FMA180 Pro will make the framing of most large nebulae and extralar complexes easier. For the first light of the Ascar FMA180 Pro, I chose two nebulae that look perfect when well framing the same apparent field of view, the Lagoon M80 and the Trifid M20 nebulae. The Lagoon nebula is an emission nebula located about 5,000 light years away from the Earth and is a star-forming region. For this reason, we find Bok globules inside it, which are dark clouds of protostellar material on the verge of collapse. These globules are very striking feature of the nebula and excellent for us to test the definition of this setup. The Trifid nebula is located about 5,200 light years away from the Earth and is a very unusual object, as there is a combination of three distinct elements. An emission region characterized by the red color of ionized hydrogen, a reflection region characterized by the blue color, and a dark nebula that causes the splitting effect between the two colors, hence the name Trifid, which means divided in three lobes. To capture the maximum of details, I use two filters, the Antilia RGB Ultra, which balances the channels of the dedicated astronomical cameras, increasing the sensitivity of the sensor to the blue, and the ZWO dual band, which has a great sensitivity to the hydrogen thus obtaining the maximum quality in the final image after blending. I will divide the captures in two different nights, which one using a different filter. I will start the captures at 7 and 30 pm with the nebula at 75 degrees east, performing the meridional flip at 8 and 30 pm, and finish the acquisition process at 9 and 30 pm with the nebula at 80 degrees west. This way I will make the most of the best positioning of my targets, just when they cross in the zenith. The ASI 533MC Pro settings will be as follows. 2 minutes light frames with the gain at 180 and cooling at minus 10 degrees. After using the Ascar FMA the entire weekend, I was able to conclude there is a very reliable device with an excellent focusing system. Generally, helical focusers are difficult to handle due to the absence of a reduction or fine adjustment of the mechanism, but the focus ring of the FMA 180 Pro is firm and precise. In addition, the lock provides great security during the acquisition sessions which is excellent for multiple nights using the same filter and the same ambient temperature. Just remove the scope cover, check the focus with a button of mask, and everything is ready to start shooting. 
In total, I captured 116 light frames of 2 minutes, totaling 3 hours and 52 minutes of total integration, 78 light frames with the Antli RGB Ultra filter, and 38 with the ZWO dual band filter. Unfortunately, one Sunday night, a low fog forced me to stop the acquisition process just after the original flip, but the result was not compromised, and I was quite satisfied with it. Before we take a look at the FMA 180 final images, I have a little confession to make. I also photographed the Lagoon and Triffid Nebula this weekend using the Sky Rover 60 Super ED and the ASI 183 MC Pro. However, I just used the Antli RGB Ultra filter. In total, I got 111 light frames of 2 minutes, totaling 3 hours and 42 minutes of total integration, to making a fair comparison between the two images. To make the video more interesting, I left this small comparison for the end. Of course, the definition of the images is very different due to the image scale, but photographing the same target with different equipment is a very useful exercise for us to evolve in astrophotography. Having well-defined the objectives and knowing which equipment is most suitable for us to portray our targets in the best possible way is a skill to be honed over time. After every year, every new rotation of our little planet in the cosmos, our expectations are renewed, even if the universe is the same, immense, mysterious and endless. I hope you like the result of this little image comparison exercise, I will show all clear skies and see you soon.